let's understand mesh current analysis followed by a shortcut method in the given question there are four unknowns ia va power associated with 8 and 6 ampere so let us not solve based on the given question let's apply mesh current analysis for the given question step one is, is, is to identify how many meshes are there how many closed circuits there are three this is your first closed circuit second closed circuit and third closed circuit so these are the three meshes second step assumption of current here we assume the currents i1 i2 i3 in clockwise direction we select i1 i2 i3 arbitrarily let's understand the path of mesh currents i1 is flowing through 8 1 2 24 and 8 volts in clockwise direction the current i3 is traveling in clockwise direction flowing through 5 minus 4 and 2 ohm the current i3 is traveling in clockwise direction through 6 amp 11 ohm 5 1 and 8 ohm respectively next let's mark the polarity across passive elements what are passive elements the elements which absorb dissipate store energy which is nothing but resistance in the given circuit you can observe my previous video on how to mark the polarities across passive elements much clearly let us mark the polarities across passive elements for i1 mesh for i2 mesh and for i3 mesh now how many unknowns are there in a given question there are four unknowns which are ia va power associated with 8 volts and 6 but what are the unknowns by mesh current analysis currents how many currents three which are these i1 i2 and i3 but by inspection one can correlate or relate i3 and 6 let's see how do we do that i3 is assumed in clockwise direction it's our assumption the current 6 amp in the given question is flowing in clockwise direction i3 is flowing through 6 amp in which direction this is your i3 which is flowing in clockwise direction the current i3 and 6 amps both are traveling in same direction that is traveling right or traveling in clockwise direction thus we can say i3 is equal to 6 ampere so the unknowns by mesh are currents how many currents one has to find here before inspection we had three and after inspection we have only two currents that is i1 and i2 so we have to apply only for mesh 1 and mesh 2 and we will not be applying for mesh 3 as by inspection we have found the mesh 3 current as 3 amperes sorry 6 amperes let's apply mesh current analysis to mesh 1 start applying mesh current analysis in top left corner in mesh 1 the path for mesh is clockwise direction we apply passive sign convention that is the voltage polarity is marked based on the polarity that you observe first now voltage above across 8 ohm so we see two polarities plus and minus so one has to incorporate these two plus is because of i1 and negative is because of i3 thus it is plus i1 minus of i3 into 8 as we move further voltage above across 1 ohm we see again two polarities first positive and negative of 1 ohm so plus is because of i1 and negative is because of i3 so it is i1 minus i3 into 1 and as we travel further we see voltage up across 2 ohm as two polarities plus and minus so plus because of i1 negative because of i2 and as we travel further we see voltage up across 24 ohm as only positive there's no when we travel in clockwise direction we see only positive polarity first across 24 ohm thus it is I1 into 24 and as we travel further we see 8 volt and as we travel across 8 volt we see negative first thus we write the equation as minus 8 for 8 volt adding all these sub equations forms mesh 1 that is I1 minus I3 into 8 plus I1 minus I3 into 1 I1 minus I2 into 2 plus I1 into 24 minus 8 is equal to 0 now here we know the value of I3 as 6 as we substitute the value of i3 as 6 we we have an equation 35 i1 minus 2 i2 is equal to 62 as equation 1 let's apply mesh 2 mesh 2 again start applying left corner top in mesh 2 again the path is clockwise we apply passive sign convention voltage up across 5 ohm is we see both polarities plus is because of i2 negative is because of i3 so it is i2 minus i3 into 5 next voltage up across minus 4 as we travel in clockwise we see negative polarity first so it is minus of minus 4 which is plus 4 volts and as we travel further voltage up across 2 ohm 
we see two polarities plus and minus plus because of i2 and negative because of i1 thus it is minus 2 sorry it is i2 minus i1 into 2 add all these three sub equations we have equation 2 by substituting the value of i3 that is minus 2 i1 plus 7 i2 is equal to 26 as equation 2 so these are the two equations now please observe in equation 1 we have started with i1 followed by i2 and then constant in equation 2 we have maintained the same syntax i1 followed by i2 and then constant writing them in matrix form how do we solve this in calculator please observe press mode press mode equation that is fifth, fifth button and two unknowns plus one a1 is 35 b1 is minus 2 and the constant c1 is 62 next a2 is minus 2 b2 is 7 c2 is constant that is 26 so once you substitute once you substitute plus equal to you get the answer as x and y which is 2.017 and 4.2904 let's see how do we solve this in old calculator press mode thrice you get equation press 1 that two unknowns press 2 a1 is 35 b1 is minus 2 c1 is 62 a2 is minus 2 b2 is 7 and c2 is 26 after you enter all the value press equal to you get x as 2.016 and y as 4.2904 which is nothing but i1 and i2 now let us solve for the given question how do we find ia as per the given question ia is traveling through 8 and 1 ohm now we have to understand which are the mesh currents which are flowing through 8 and 1 ohm it's i1 and i3 both current it's not only i1 not only i3 it's a combination of i1 and i3 then how do we equate ia with respect to i1 and i3 direction of ia is traveling right through 8 and 1 let us understand what are the directions of i1 and i3 direction of ie1 through 8 and 1 ohm is traveling right since both are in same direction that is ia is traveling right i1 is also traveling right we assume positive for this that is we assume positive for i1 direction of i3 to through 8 and 1 ohm it is traveling left ia is traveling right but i3 is traveling left through 8 and 1 ohm thus it is negative thus we write the equation for ia as i1 minus i3 i repeat ia is traveling right i1 is traveling right i3 is traveling left since ia and i1 are traveling right it is positive since i3 is traveling in opposite direction for ia it is negative let's find va va is voltage up across 5 we use the formula i into r where r is 5 and v to find v we must find i i which mesh currents are flowing through 5 ohm it's a combination of i2 and i3 how do we equate i to find v that is with respect to i2 and i3 current i2 hits which polarity of va first current i2 hits positive polarity of va first thus it is i2 is positive current i3 hits which polarity of va first it hits negative polarity of va first thus i3 is negative and thus we write the equation for i as i2 minus i3 and equation for va is i into 5 where i is i2 minus i3 into 5 which is minus 8.548 volts let's find the power associated with 8 volt which current is flowing through 8 volt it is only i1 so we use a formula v into i where v is 8 how do we find i so which current is flowing through 8 volt i1 so current i1 hits which polarity of 8 volts first it hits negative polarity of 8 volts first as we travel in clockwise direction right thus we write the equation as 8 into negative of i1 negative of 2.0 17. It is minus 16.136 watt. Negative indicates 8 volt as a source. Negative power indicates it is actually discharging, which is an active element. Power associated with minus 4. Which current is flowing through minus 4 volt? Only I2. We use the same formula V into I. V is minus 4. Which current is flowing? I2. Let us understand which party does I2 hit hits first i2 hits negative thus it is minus 4 into negative of i2 negative of 4.2904 thus p is 17.162 watts now the power is positive that means it is acting as a load it is taking energy it is getting charged let us see by inspection method how one can uh, solve this instead of applying all the methods that all the procedures that we have done just by inspection how do we solve this 
it's a shortcut method this is generalized equation where 1 comma 1 indicates first row first column negative of 1 comma 2 indicates negative of first row and second column 2 comma 2 second row second column 2 comma 1 is second row and first column and minus of v, uh, v equation in mesh 1 and negative of voltage equation in mesh 2 let us see one by one this is the equation by mesh analysis let us compare and understand the shortcut method so 1 comma 1 indicates 35 which is all the passive elements in mesh 1 that is summation of 8 1 2 and 24 which is equal to 35 1 comma 1 means all the resistance in first mesh minus of 1 comma 2 that is negative of the resistance between 1 and 2 that is mesh 1 and mesh 2 negative of the resistance between mesh 1 and mesh 2 which is 2 ohm that is negative of 2 next 7 that is 2 comma 2 that is all the resistance in the second mesh that is 5 plus 2 next 2 comma 1 negative of 2 comma 1 that is negative of the resistance between mesh 2 and mesh 1 which is again 2 now negative of voltage equation in mesh 1 so let us see we have a current source 6 amperes 6 amperes flows through 11 5 1 and 8 let us mark the polarities for 6 amperes that is for IA, I3 plus minus plus minus and plus minus now if we assume that 6 amp is flowing through 5 1 and 8 let us find its voltage drop 36 and 48 volt only because of 6 amperes let us relay this diagram with respect to voltage source now there are three voltage sources or three voltages in first mesh let us not say sources the three voltages in first mesh 48 6 and 8 how should we incorporate negative of these voltages again apply in clockwise direction so we write the equation as minus of minus 48 minus 6 and minus 8 which is nothing but 62 again negative of voltages in mesh 2 we have two voltages 30 and 4 my 30 and minus 4 so apply in clockwise direction I repeat apply in clockwise direction starting from left corner it is negative of minus 30 minus of minus 4 which is nothing but 26 thus substitute in calculator we get a1 as 35 b1 as minus 2 and c1 as 62 a2 as minus 2 b2 as 7 and c2 as 26 solve in solve in your calculator to get the answers for i1 and i2 thank you